to reduce unnecessary burdens on the healthcare system and clients, refill-only visits should be considered separately to clinical visits. In most settings, clinical visits are required every six months, whereas the number of ART refill visits depend on the maximum duration of ART available. In this video, we will explore the standard operating procedure for group models managed by clients from the perspective of the client and the healthcare worker. This model is sometimes known as Community ART Groups, or CAGS. Meet Mary. Mary is established on treatment, but she lives far away from the clinic. Recently, her friend Rafilwe invited her to join a local CAG. Rafilwe has had some training and leads this group of eight people. Every three months, Mary meets with her group twice. First, they meet on the day before her refill appointment, and this time, they decide to meet under the tree next to Rafilwe's house. During their meeting, Rafilwe checks with each group member if they have any symptoms of TB or other concerns and she records this on the CAG refill form. One of the other group members is then nominated to collect all the members' ART refills from the clinic. After the meeting, Mary goes back to work. The next day, Mary meets the group again. She collects her refill from the group member who attended the clinic and signs the form to confirm that she's received the medication. For the local nurse, this model looks like this. Meet Jane. Jane works in a clinic as a nurse. She is the point of contact for one of the CAGs in the village. This week, a group member from the CAG comes to collect the refills from Jane at the clinic. Jane has already prepared the refills for each member. During the consultation, Jane fills out her relevant section in the refill form and hands over the medication in named bags. This CAG runs independently, but the group knows that they can reach out to Jane if they have any issues or concerns. Without DSD, how might the scenario have played out? The members of the CAG often need to travel far to get their refills. They might not be able to afford the travel costs. With this model, instead of eight transport fees, only one is needed for each refill visit. If they can't get time off work, they might collect their refills late or miss them completely. People are also less likely to stick to their treatment if they aren't supported by other clients. If Jane had to attend to all eight of these clients at the clinic, she would have a lot less time to focus on those who need urgent care.